most of you are aware that I've been studying the problems with these new versions of the Bible and I've compiled a bunch of evidence that I'm going to put in a video uh, here before long when it's completed. I've got a lot of hours in it and I think you, you will be interested in it if you have the ears and want to hear. It's not a popular thing to talk about these versions because people are in love with them. But I'm convinced that they're the the Bibles of the Laodicean church where Jesus is standing outside the door and knocking. And so I want to just present a couple scriptures this morning to uh, show you part of what I've learned. And maybe you know this, maybe you don't. But I want to remind you that the Lord works in mysterious ways and people can come to know Jesus even through a corrupt version of the Word of God. There's people that are saved that are setting in false churches but there's a time when we have to grow up. We have to become mature spiritually and and study the true word of God I was reading from Luke 4 verse 4 and this is red letter and I hope you have your King James with you if you don't you can use one of those other versions and you'll see what it is I'm talking about but in, in uh, Luke 4 verse 4 and Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Amen. He says it is written, so Jesus is quoting scripture. And we'll find where it's written in Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 8, verse 3. And this is Moses, the book of Moses. And he humbled thee and suffered thee to hunger and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not, neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. So Jesus quoted Moses correctly. But by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. And these other versions, they include that part of Deuteronomy 8, 3. But they leave out in Luke, after... Uh, but by every word of God is, is taken out of most of these corrupt versions. You can check your Bible and see. But what that does, that tells you that obviously Jesus can't quote scripture by leaving it out. But it's in there. These corrupt verses have it in there in Deuteronomy. I'll give you another example. Luke 4.18, right here. Red letters. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. And he's quoting the book of Isaiah in the 17th verse. You can read that. So we'll go into Isaiah. Isaiah 61 1.
the Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. And these corrupt versions, that's pretty well complete. Okay. Well, we go back here to Luke. And these corrupt versions, in Luke 4, 4 verse 18, they leave out, He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. There's another example where Jesus can't quote Scripture. That's the only conclusion that you can draw. Why it's left out, I don't know. Other than to do what I said is, is doing, that is make it look like Jesus can't quote Scripture. Okay, Hebrews 5, 11 through 14. This is the essence of what I'm talking about with these corrupt versions. Of whom we have many things to say and hard to be uttered, seeing ye are dull of hearing. For when, for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principles of the oracles of God and are become such as had need of milk and not of strong meat. When they should have been wanting strong meat, they are in need of milk because they are dull of hearing. They won't listen. They got to be taught the first principles of the oracles of God. Going back to that. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. A man of God, a teacher, he's going to know that what these corrupt versions are. He's going to see it. And it's my prayer that our Dull ears be opened. Amen. We don't want to be belong to the Laodicean church. We want to teach from God's holy word. I'll be glad when this lesson I'm studying is over with. It's been a, a spiritual battle. And... It's not concerning the unsaved, but those that teach, those that know God, those that are saved. Well, we say discern both good and evil, but I bring this to you with love and compassion that we can all grow in Christ together in his word Amen. Lord be willing, I'll see you later.